Okay, this is my last video on rotational dynamics for Newton's second law. Um, I want to just show you what happens if you have uh, a two system problem where you have, say, um, a big wheel that's anchored to the ceiling, like a pulley or something. Now um, this is a this is a cylinder. It's a it's a solid cylinder, and I for a solid cylinder um, is going to be one half m r squared. And we are going to wrap um, a string around here several times, and um, and then it's going to come off of here, and there's going to be a bucket of mass m here. And let's say the wheel is also mass M. So they're the same mass, mass M. And um, the question is, what will be the acceleration, what will be the alpha of the wheel, and what will be the acceleration of the bucket? Okay. Now let me tell you what people do with problem like this, and it's and it's not right. So let me just tell you right away. That if you think that the when when you let go of this, this is going to descend. It's going to accelerate down. And um, if you think that the tension in this rope is going to be mg, you'd be wrong. Because the tension in this rope is less than mg. That's why it's accelerating down. So don't go and say that the torque that's being provided by this string is mg times r. The torque is not mg times r. Because the tension in this rope is not equal to mg. All right, so let's see how you do this then. What you do is you um, draw you draw two um, free body diagrams. You are going to draw the bucket, it's got a tension ft on it, and it's got an mg on it. And um, let's draw the wheel. It's got um, its own weight, the mass of the wheel, that's mg. It's got the axle pushing up. And it's got uh, the force of tension down. Okay, so it's got all those. Now this doesn't have any acceleration, it has an alpha. So I'm going to say alpha is equal to, and as you might guess, there's no torque by these guys because they're right through the center. So the only thing putting a torque on it is Ft. So it would be Ft times, now the torque is not just a force, it's a force times a lever arm. So that if this is R, oh, i got to tell you that this is R. Can I tell you that that's R? So it would be Ft times R. And then um, divide it by the rotational inertia. So the rotational inertia is one half m r squared. This is alpha equals net torque over i. Okay, come over here and we'll apply Newton's second law for linear motion here. So a equals the net force, that would be mg minus ft all over m. Okay, now here's the thing. Um, you may think that these aren't connected in any way, but actually they are. Because if you were a bug, if you were like a ladybug right here sitting on the mass, you'd have the same acceleration as a ladybug sitting right here. And the same acceleration, linear acceleration, as a ladybug sitting right there on the rope. And the same tangential acceleration as a ladybug sitting there. So the tangential acceleration of this ladybug is equal to the linear acceleration of that. I don't, I don't mean alpha. I mean the A tangential. So uh, I'm going to say that um, this alpha can be turned into an A. What is it? It's uh, just using the, the uh, bridge equation. It's A tangential over R. It's the same A. That's equal to um, Ft times R 
all over one half mr squared. So I just changed the alpha to a over r. Okay, um, I'm going to solve this and get rid of, uh, I'm going to solve this for a and bring it over here maybe? No, maybe I'll solve this for ft and bring it over there and then I and then I will, won't, I'll only have one unknown. So let me solve this for ft. Boom, 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 boom. Looks like ft is one half ma. I'll bring that over here now, put it into there. So A equals Mg minus Ft, which is one half Ma, all over M. Let's get rid of an M, since each term has one. And um, let me bring this half A to the other side. So the half A, when I bring it to the other side, is three halves A is equal to g. So it looks like a is two-thirds of g. It's good that it's not bigger than g because g would be if I cut the rope that's that's the maximum acceleration it could have. So it's two-thirds of g. And then if I want to find what alpha is I could either put it back into this equation or I could just say alpha equals A over R. So it would be two-thirds G over R. That's alpha. Okay, so for these more complex problems, this, this is a fairly tough problem in AP physics. And uh, what you got to do is you got to dr draw two free body diagrams, apply Newton's laws in both linear and rotational motion. And um, if you, um, the way that you're going to relate these then is with a bridge equation. So there was a bridge equation, namely um, A equals alpha R. That was the bridge equation. Okay, so that's how you do a problem like this. Just keep in mind that the tension is not equal to mg. If it was, this thing wouldn't descend at all. It would just stay put. All right, thanks. Bye.